Warning, the following show contains mature content of a graphic nature, including language and violent video gameplay. Viewer discretion is advised. Eighteen, I put nineteen. You do that every time. Yeah, I never was a good math student. Hi, I'm your host, Funny Guy. Welcome to Lagging Out here on uh, the Google Hangouts, YouTube, Twitch, uh, where uh, I, Funny Guy, and uh, my co-host, the Chieftain. Hello, hello. Um, discuss uh, the current uh, gaming atmosphere. I uh, have interviews with professional gamers, uh, industry professionals, and uh, overall are your uh, your number one source for hardcore gaming uh, information web show, I guess. Is that what we are? Don't mail it in like you did I last time. Pretend to be excited about it. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of how, how it should be worded. But. Jesus Christ, dude. What are we? What are we? We are a show about video games. We are a show about video games. For now. And, believe it or not, we are sponsored by The Gamer Gloves. Check them out at thegamergloves.com. Use the coupon code lagging out when you make your purchase. Save 15% on your next pair of Gamer Gloves. So another two weeks have gone by. We uh, wow, are they here every other week. By. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. did. It's funny because the last time I talked to you was two weeks ago. So. No, that's not true. I talked to you this week. We've made a meeting Thursday. Talking. We did. Yeah, we did. That's why. What I'm what? What didn't we do this last Thursday? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, there you go. And uh, sitting down here to my right, your left, perhaps your center, is uh, Raymond Risencorps, our new resident, or soon to be possibly, uh, resident intern here at Lagging Out. How you doing tonight, man? Pretty good. How y'all doing? I'm doing okay. Where uh, where are you coming to us from? Daytona Beach, Florida. Ah, three eight six. And and how is the uh, how is the weather down there? Pretty good. So finally starting to cool off just a little bit. Now is that good surf tur- surfing area? Don't know. I've never surfed. I just moved down here a year ago. Oh, okay. So and where are you I from originally? Feel that one funny guy. Yeah. Where where are you from originally? Southern Mississippi. Okay, so you're not uh, you're no stranger to the beach then. No. no. Okay, okay. So the lifestyle suits you right on. Uh, I don't know if uh, you want to feel this. This is uh, explain to our viewers why um, why Rising Corpse is here with us tonight. Because he begged me to be on the show, basically. No, I'm just kidding. That's right. Um, what we do, we're getting so busy with our Facebook page, we actually needed help, so I put posting out on our Facebook. Facebook page, looking for admins. Mute that, man. God. <sighs> Mute your friggin' cell phone. Yeah, that's one. That's our one and only viewer right now telling me that he cannot hear you. Can't hear me? Well, that's probably a good a thing. Real hard time hearing you. Ah! If you um, want to talk to us, folks, you can go to our Twitch channel. I'll give you all that information in a minute. How about now? Um, no. Yeah, uh, sounds the same to me. Yeah, it still sounds the same. Hold on. Well, you are watching Lagging Out. Uh, yeah, lagging Out. We're watching Lagging Out. It's Lagging Out. You can check out our that? website at <laughs> laggingout.com. Testing. If you want to, uh, you know, uh, this is a perfect time to do one of these plugs for uh, sponsorship and donations, which we are currently looking for. Uh, if you've got a product, I uh, want to throw a few bucks our way. Uh, help us get uh, the right kind of equipment to... Uh, and also broaden our audience, feel free to contact us at laggingout at gmail.com. Or you can go to... <laughs> you can go to... Uh, go ahead. <laughs> I'll, I'll just sit here and listen to you guys the entire time. How about that? Uh, no, I can, I'm hearing you fine now. I think you just probably need to be a little closer. Yeah. All right. Uh, here, here are one and only oh, viewers giving is. us a review. Here we go. Here's our review. Here it comes. 
And my phone is needing to be replaced. I only told you 15 times to mute it, but that's fine. It gets I better think. when you're closer to the mic. Yeah. That's... All right. So I'll, I'll have to talk like this for about 45 minutes. So you talk, you have to that's talk fine. into the microphone. I mean, it's See, not. Now I look uh, like you. No, I look like you. I'm talking into the microphone. So one of the particular <laughs> item, uh, types of things that we would be looking for in oh, terms shit. of sponsorship would be like, I don't know, say uh, microphones. Uh, are you a microphone manufacturer? Um, do you know anything? Do you sell microphones? Want to hook laggingout.com uh, up with some mics? You can email us at laggingout at gmail.com. And I uh, want to throw a few bucks our way so we can go buy some mics. That'd be great, too. Uh, you can go to uh, our website and click the Donate button. that would take you right to PayPal. And you can donate to laggingout at gmail.com. Every little bit counts. It all goes into production uh, costs, uh, you know, equipment, um, prizes for contests, and things like that. So, Buttons, uh, promotions, all that stuff. Huh? Having. We'll be having a... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, go ahead. Huh? You're driving. Go ahead. I'm not driving anything. I can't, I'm, I, seriously, it is hard We're to hear you. We're already off I'm the not, rails. I'm not uh, not bullshitting you. It is difficult. I mean, I got I'm you trying, all the way I'm up. I'm like I... screaming. My, I'm going to need like a whole thing of tea after this. Oh, tea. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> tea with honey actually is good for your voice. And there's our one and only review. <laughs> I don't know why we don't just have him log into Google with us. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> So what are we going to talk about this week, folks? Well, we've got a uh, special guest, a uh, very popular uh, guest, uh, King of All Games. We'll be returning a little while later on to compete with Rising Corps here in uh, Name That Game. Is that what it is? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Right. Um, if he beats, if he beats, name, uh, if he beats uh, King of All Games in the game. He gets to be our admin on our Facebook page. So, uh, there's a lot there's a lot at stake. So, well, King of I All Games plays for keeps. I'm nervous about it because he's not saying a word. <laughs> King of All Games plays for keeps. I will. And then also tonight we're going to talk about uh, some interesting things. Uh, the new Battlefield 4 beta dropped. Oh, yeah. Uh, on the Xbox. Uh, I know you and I both downloaded and played it. We've not played it together yet, um, but I know we've played it. Uh, and uh, some interesting news in terms of uh, the Battlefront franchise uh, has come to light recently, although... Um, and then uh, we can talk a little bit about... Uh, we're going to discuss uh, the new... Uh, Grand Theft Auto, continuing our conversation uh, and discussion on uh, video games, uh, violence, kids, etc., etc. Right? Is that kind of a good way to say that? Yeah, that, that's fine. I can barely hear you, but... That's... You can barely hear me? Can you hear me better now? Yeah. Is that a good way yeah. to say that, you think? <clears throat> yeah, You're trying to bring you intelligent, uh intellectual discussion on games and whatnot too not just sitting there going wow that's cool dude doesn't that look neat well then you got the wrong person here for that well but that's what I'll I'm saying this is not a game show this is not a video game show for gamers like that it's kind of my point this show is basically for people that don't mind seeing two ugly guys talk about video games so <laughs> Who can occasionally get an attractive cosplay girl to hop in with? Yes. <laughs> Tonight so, we have Rising Corpse. And we have Rising Corpse. So. The ladies' man. Yeah. Yeah, I bet he does. He got that. <laughs> he got that surfer <laughs> look about him, doesn't he? He's kind of got that, you know. <laughs> yeah, I live near the beach, fool. What? What? What's with it? What? He's got the 2000 version, thir uh, 2013 version of the Don Johnson look going for him. So. He's good to go. Well, he's like still guy, popular guy, down there. Scruff. He's got it going on. Me, I could pull <laughs> off the scruff. I just look like a homeless person, but he kind of keeping with the Grand Theft Auto theme. I kind of I didn't shave too much either, but I don't think you can see it. Well, you, you I don't got think you can really that, see right? it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. Oh, what are we um, gonna talk about now? 
Uh, well, well, you want to talk about? Eh, let's talk about that later. Let's uh, <coughs> start off. Um, uh, before we do get going, want to give a shout out to also to the tattooed Barbies. Um, and don't forget, every third Thursday in the, of the month is Thunder Thursdays, where you, uh, the Lagging Out crew, uh, and the Tattooed Barbies get together uh, for some private gaming fun. It's a good time. We've done it now for, what, a couple of months? Good group of, good group of gamers. We're trying to get a few of them to come on the air. Hopefully we'll continue that dialogue on the next Thunder Thursday. And I uh, didn't quite get my ass kicked as bad this last time as I did the time before. So no, I have no complaints. You have that one of them stabbing girls on your team. Uh, on no. your team, so you're okay. Yeah. She was getting me that time. So yeah, good. Time, yeah. Stabbed in the back. God, well, well. I'm getting stabbed in the back by a woman. Gee, <laughs> truth is stranger than fiction sometimes. So would that mean that Call of Duty is real life? Call of Duty is life. <laughs> you, you, so. Last night you weren't there, but man, it was it was just awful. I can't oh. stand little kids. I on on uh, on games that are rated M for mature. I'm not gonna get back it's... into the previous episodes, but it just irks me. Yeah. I'm like, knock knock, who's there? You're muted. Definitely with you on that one. Now, if you had a little chieftain sitting on your lap that was old enough to be able to verbalize telling somebody to go screw themselves while you were playing the game, that wouldn't be funny. I'm not, I'm not saying, saying I approve, funny. but I mean, it is You're funny. You're assuming that I'm going to find a woman to have a kid to mass produce with. <laughs> <laughs> well, Every girl I dated, you spawn, they're like, right? I don't want kids. I'm like, right, oh, that's assuming you spawn. I see. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Well, like, speaking of... You don't Speaking want to talk about certain things that happened to you this week? Yeah, that's true. That's off limits. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what I just agreed like to, Howard folks. Stern I just show. know that, I know that something. You're to reveal stuff about your personal life, which is not like the Howard Stern show. But that's okay, funny guy. Keep on hosting the show. Good job. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, ju we'll just put little bumpers on the side for the show so that way nobody watches. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep talking. I'll just sit here and listen. Ironically enough, while you were talking, I got a message that I have high disk usage going on. <laughs> what does that mean? Does that really scratch your disk? I don't know. So, uh, now, do you play Rising Corpse? What do you play? You play primarily PC games, uh, Xbox. Xbox. And what do you like to play on it? Uh, I usually play COD or I just beat Tomb Raider. Okay, and did you, by chance, uh, what we're about to talk about here is the new uh, uh, Battlefield 4, is it? Um, yeah. The open beta uh, on Xbox Live. Did you happen to check that out uh, this week or over the last two weeks? About four times. All right, and Chieftain, did you? I have a revelation. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I actually wow. Played it. Yeah. So I you... uh. play it. You actually um, played a different first-person shooter. Okay, so, um, and, uh... I, um, it's, to me, the controls are almost the same as Call of Duty. Yeah. And there, there yeah. are some little, like, I, I, I'm used to hitting the button to see the score, and it goes to another screen. I was getting confused. It's just programmed for me to go to the previous thing to check out my KD, but I couldn't check it out. But I'm like, I was playing their version of Domination, and from what I understand, there's tickets, and the more kills you get from the other team, the more your team gets tickets. So it's like Tickets are basically spawns. Okay. So I like that. So um, if a team starts off with 500 tickets, they have 500 spawns. I noticed among, Distributed drops. among 16 or however many players it is. All right, I don't know what it was. I think it was like 6 on 6 or something like that. I was playing in... Uh, just getting used to the map, and instead of having borders, they actually have, um, you, miss, you must get back into the map, it goes black and white, you gotta turn back into the battlefield, so to speak. And, uh, there's, there's things like bullet drop that I'm not used to, and there's, uh, you can hold three guns, which I'm not used to. So, I was, I was on a, um, what I call, um, Shaolin Monk team, where no one, no one was speaking, 
and no one was communicating, and I was getting fucking pissed. And I'm like, where are you guys? Da 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 da. I'm like, I'm at a point, and like, there's three guys on the other team pooping on me, and I can't even get anywhere. And then I'm spawn, and when I spawn in, I spawn in where there's a freaking sniper on the top of the freaking three-story building, and I have an assault rifle. That's the only guy that's alive, and it's the only place I can spawn. <laughs> but other than that, I think the players are really heavy, but I really like it. It's it's something different. So I was playing that just because I couldn't get to a lobby with my own friends. So yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was uh, pretty good for a beta. Um, there were. Uh... A lot of um, a lot of things that still obviously it's it's beta. Uh, right. One of the cool things. Did you happen to get to see the building fall down? No, I didn't. The, I I remember we talked about it on a previous show with uh, collapsing geometry and integrating environments, but I never saw the building fall down. Uh, I played the domination map. I don't know how many maps you you could play, but I played that map only three one. Time. Three times. Only the only the one. And uh, that, I got just a message from Darkside says, "Fix my mic." You fix my mic. <laughs> um, uh, I can't help it, dude. Uh, what was I saying? Now, what was I talking about? Building falling. Building falling. No, I didn't see the building fall. See, this is why he'll be a good intern. <laughs> yeah. Gonna call him JD. Um, but yeah, I didn't get to see. I there was not a lot of people shooting at a building per se. I was just broken glass and broken. Like there's glass on the ceiling and the people are shooting the glass in the ceiling and you were dropping down, that sort of thing. Um, but nothing. Uh, I wasn't in a game long enough to actually see that. I didn't so fight now. as much as I walked around and kind of looked at things and watched the building fall from afar, if you will. It's pretty cool. Um, was, is it uh, just one map? Yes, it's yeah. just the one map right now. Well, that's uh, why. Pretty cool game. Pretty. Uh, it was pretty interesting, um, to say the least. Uh, definitely different. Different game altogether, in my opinion. As, uh, mm -hmm. as somebody who uh, could be considered a game reviewer. Um, not. I think it's a slower moving game than say a Call of Duty. Uh, I don't. Um, I don't think that there. I don't think there's some similarities, but I think for the most part they're both two completely different types of games. I think that's fair to say. Uh, what did you think of it? Um, what you I think? think it was more three-dimensional. The maps are uh, a lot more exploratory, even though it was just one map. I felt it. I felt there was multi levels that you can actually be. Like you have, you have your medical guys, you have your engineer guys, you have your assault guys, which is in every every battlefield, as every battlefield uh, player knows or fanboy knows. But there's more to it. Like a, a typical Call of Duty map, I would assume from the one map I saw on Battlefield 4 is like a third of the size map I played in. Even if you played that LA map um, on Call of Duty, someone help me with the name. Aftermath? Thank you. Aftermath, yes. Yeah, when everybody hates. So, I would, there, there's a delay, so I was waiting for Darkseid to post that on Twitch. But, um, yeah, it's kind of, that's the only map I can relate it to, but there's no uh, geometry that's going to blow up, or, except if it was like a random, like, automobile that you drop a bouncing Betty next to, and it explodes and destroys the whole thing. Like, that, that's the closest that I can relate to with the Call of Duty map, opposed to the map that I was on in Battlefield. For, in order for me to compare it, I'm going to have to see the two new uh, installments of both games to actually make a fair comparison. Yeah, yeah, I hear Is that you, accurate? I hear yeah, I hear you. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I actually enjoyed it. I got to see the building fall. I was also standing on the building whenever it fell before. Yeah, I kept getting <laughs> killed. I kept trying to get up there and kept getting killed when I got out of the elevator. Yeah, I was one of those guys that camped that elevator and waited for people like you to come up to the elevator so I can just pop them and they get die right there. <laughs> I'd just be laying down in front of the elevator waiting for it to open. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I tried to get up there. I wanted to be up there when it fell, but I've yet to make it up there. I get to rain. jump off the building and parachute down. <laughs> All right, well, and you know, uh, there's talk, speaking of Battlefront, of Star Wars. 
uh, kind of probably coming to light. A Star Wars, if you will, theme, if you will, probably a lot like the beta that we saw. Hey, funny guy, real quick, I think we should do a running count every time you say, if you will, for each show. No, we'll let's not. Prize at the end, because I think you said it seven times last show. All right, well. So, you're, you're up to three, I think. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, if you will. <laughs> Told you it's going to be different today. I, you said to be myself. Hey, on a different note, um, we've got possibly, you know, if you've played this demo, what would you think of like a, a Star Wars type of, I'm reading that there's going to be a Star Wars battlefield like this. Wow. Star Wars battlefield. Are you a Star oh, yeah. Wars fan at all? Oh, yeah. Okay. Who's not a Star Wars fan? Star Trek fans. That's not true because <laughs> I like Star Trek also. Oh, you're offensive. I don't know. I can't believe I just admitted that on a web show to the. You, I think you one admitted it before. Have. I was gonna say to the millions of people out there, but. The millions <laughs> and millions of the lagging out billions fans. Billions and billions of lagging out. The fans. millions that watch us. <laughs> I go on, I go on Xbox Live, and people still don't know who I am. I'm like, yeah. I'm the chieftain. Read the blogs. Yeah. Watch the show. Lagginout.com. Don't watch it with your mom. There you go. Subscribe today or die, brother. Is that the know. Macho Man? <laughs> it was supposed to be uh, Hulk Hogan. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be the Macho Man. I have to scream into the damn mic, so that's what I sound like. I sound like I'm doing. We could do. We could do, do this show. Well, we should do. We should do the show sometime as like wrestler voice. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I'm gonna come get oh, you, yeah. brother! The oh! Oh yeah! is coming! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> well, I'm not smoking for 30 years. I can't sound like you. <laughs> yeah. Has it been that long? Oh yeah, I'm not supposed I, to. I don't think that. it's Sorry. that deep, but uh, anyway. You sound so, like one of my so, great aunts when you talk. So what would you think? Would you think that you think uh, like you know you were given a choice between you know Star Wars like what you were playing in the beta that dropped or playing that type of conventional warfare? Which of the two you think is more appealing to you? You asking me? Asking both of you. Now, and I guess our one viewer, if he wants to text me his answer, he can. <laughs> Please don't make reference to the one viewer. It, oh. makes, my it, ma it makes it more difficult later. Yeah, it makes the editing <laughs> too hard, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It depends. It depends on where they're going to go with it. Are they going to go start from episode one through six? Are they going to do it from the old Republic? No, it's going to be... Uh, I see the sixth movie? It all depends. It's, it's wide open. What did the, what did the actual... Uh, the news clip say. I just want to blast her and run, run around and blow people up, I, I guess. Uh, my favorite video, my favorite Star Wars game was the only one I played, which was Shadows of the Empire. And it, it, uh... So I played Dark Forces years ago, which was built on the Doom engine. Okay. And that was a great game. That was fun. Yeah, I played the Force one. That was a really good one. Yeah, it was a good game. And, uh... I'm look. I, I, you know, I haven't played a whole heck of a lot of great Star Wars games over the years. I'll be honest. Um, the only other one that comes to my mind would be Rebel Assault, which was for what the N64, I think. Yeah. It was a flying game. Yeah, that was a great one of my favorite Star Wars games as well. So I don't know. I think it'd be interesting. We'll be, I'll be curious to see if that ever comes to life. I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Do they have a projected uh, production schedule for that yet, or? Oh, I have no idea. I uh, don't have a link to that handy at the Did moment. Did you read the entire article before presenting it on the show today? You don't know anything. No. Uh, I didn't have time. But um, I've watched a couple of trailers. I, I, I don't believe it's in production yet. I'm, I'm sure there's some level of pre-production that goes on for stuff like that. 
And, uh, who, I'm just who, saying, who, I hope is they Zia do it. Do it with, uh, is he gonna do it with? I don't know. Darkside said. Plus, they had Star Wars Battlefronts on PS2. Yeah, they did. I used to play that. They had it for Xbox right. as well. Um, I never played it. I'm kind of selective on the 60 bucks I spend on the video games I want to get. So, like, there could be a lot of games. Would you buy that? It's like, well, either food or a video game. I like to eat more than uh, play a video game at this point. Yeah, so, no, I hear you. Yeah. But uh, I would, I would spring for the Battlefield and uh, you know the the other first person shooter that's coming out. So. Um, I would spring for both of those. So now, I guess I just where I turn things over to you and go get our favorite guest. Yeah, one of our guests, um, King of All Games, and uh, please welcome King of All Games. Yay! Applause. Yes. Hello. <laughs> hello, King of All Games. And, and how are how are you? I am great. How are you? I am doing. Hiatus. We haven't seen you in months. Where have you been? No, you I've doing? I've been playing games. What games have you been playing? Pick a game. Uh, did you play the Battlefield 4 beta? I've beaten it. You can't beat the Battlefield. Oh, I can't stand you. <laughs> how can you beat the Battlefield beta? It's one map. I've beaten that one map. I, I win at all the games that I play. I always win. So did you play Grand Theft Auto yet? The new one? Yes. Five? Yes, I've beaten it. Which character do you like playing the best? Uh, the dog. The dog? Yes. Now, see, I can't, I can't tell if you're fabricating that or not because I haven't played the game. But uh, is there a dog in that game, Rising Corpse? I have no idea. I have not played it either. <laughs> Oh my this God. is why I am king of all games. There is a dog in the game. I know there's a dog in that game. I know there's hand gliders and that sort of thing, and maybe you could ride a horse, but I'm not sure about the dog. You so cannot I'm... play the game as a hand glider. Yes, you can. No. That's not what. That's like saying you can play the game as a truck. Hello, what is this? Nothing. Are you going to make me compete in some sort of a, some sort of a what, what do you call a, a competition? I think we were emailing back and forth, King of All Games. I think you know what the situation is. Um, we're going to play Name That Game. And you, you were interested in becoming a, a Facebook admin, but um, we had two applicants, you and Ryzen Corpse. So yes, yes. In order, in order for I am you, qualified. This Who is this man? Who is he? I, you play games. Who's your favorite superhero? Every gamer has a favorite superhero. Who's your favorite superhero? I don't have to say either Venom or Batman. Venom is not a superhero. He is a supervillain. Actually, it's Spider-Man, but I think Venom. Oh, well, we're going to argue the gray area. Venom is evil. <laughs> <laughs> See, he got it right, though. It is He is a Marvel guy, so he's allowed to stay. Okay, he said Batman, too. Oh, he said Batman? Did you oh, say yeah. Batman? Uh, that's one of my other ones. Okay. Oh, that's right. all right. You pass with King of Games. Batman is... Ex but Venom is not a, 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 a do-gooder. not a superhero either. He's a vigilante. Venom is not a do-gooder. <laughs> my beard itches. That game. No, no, no. What do, I, what do I have to do? How do you play this game? Well, what you have to do is... Do I need dice? First of all, you have to click on my... Where is uh, the joystick? Do I have to do work? I'm, I'm not well, the, I'm, I don't have the do job it. yet. Isn't he? I don't have the job yet. You're making me work. <laughs> <laughs> Put the damn graphic back up. There you go. I win. That's it. You don't get the job, <laughs> young man. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. The, fir the first... The first uh, picture. The first picture here is. It's it's a picture of name that game. Name that game. I can't see it. You can't see it. Is it not showing up? I see it now. Okay. Who goes first? Uh, you, uh, King of All Games. Go ahead, you go first. Because I am King of All Games, this is why I go first. Royalty goes first. It's a robot pooping out a man. 
Is it Robot pooping out a man? Wrong! <laughs> all right, Rising Corp. King of all there. games is rusty on the sound of the soundboard. <laughs> Rising Corpse. Name that game. I don't think I know this one. Five seconds. <laughs> that game was called Titanfall. <laughs> Nice try, both. No, the score is zero to zero. We both suck. <laughs> <laughs> you well, both suck. We played that game. <laughs> okay, Rising Corpse, this is your turn. Name that game. Zelda. Is it Zelda? Correct. <laughs> Lead. No, it says the Legend of Zelda Wind Talker. He left out the word wind and legend and wind. He just said Zelda. Quit your bitching. No, I know. Oh. I would have oh. said I would have used those proper adjectives and adverbs. <laughs> just like you did with Titanfall, the first question. Next one. This one goes anything. to King of All Games. Name that game. Five seconds. Man looking into room. I Man don't, I don't looking know. into room. I don't Is know. That correct? Uh, Wrong. I don't know why my wrong symbol's not showing up, but that's okay. Rising court. <laughs> Name that game. Uh, I'm going to take a guess at Resident Evil 6. Is it at Resident Evil 6? Now, if he gets the number wrong, I win. <laughs> wrong! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Back to King of All Games. Chronicles of Riddick. Is it Chronicles of Riddick? Wrong! Smart man, it's your turn. I have it. <laughs> Rising Corpse. Name that game. Notice how only he gets the clock. <laughs> Rising uh, Corpse. I'd have to get up and get myself in. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> No idea? Okay. Well, let's see what the answer was. Splinter Cell Black Still, one to nothing, Ryzen Corpse. And you know, I've beaten that game. <laughs> You're not the only one who got that wrong. Darkseid got it wrong, too. He said Mass Effect. Who is this Darkseid? Who is this Darkseid? I... I don't, I'm now competing against people I can't even see. Well, if you guys go to our Twitch account, you can you can talk and join the dialogue with Darkseid Drums. He's on there right now. Just go to our Twitch account, twitch.com slash lagging underscore I can't do that or the funny man will hurt me. Yeah, the funny funny man can hurt you. He'll, he's like eye level with uh, your waist. He's a little short guy. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the so, next one. So say the you first one that three wins, camera. and we better hope we get the three. Name that game. I think it's... Whose turn is it? Rising Corpse? We were just talking about it. That was got to be one of those Spider-Man things, but I don't know which one. I know it. It's Spider-Man. just don't know... Which just Spider-Man. Spider There's no other adjectives or numbers that need to be... Well, what's your What's your? I am right. I win. This is not your turn. Go with Spider-Man. 
the edge of the edge of damn connection. <laughs> <laughs> edge of time. You forgot edge of time. Rising Corpse Two, King of All Games One. And he spelled it wrong. <laughs> There's a hyphen in there, isn't there? No, I'm talking about him, not the information. We never mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mr. Uh, King of All Games. <laughs> Name that game. Calvin and Hobbes do acid. Calvin and Hobbes do acid. Wrong, dumbass. No, no one's going to know who is the Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> yes, they will. All right, for the steal and the win, Rising Corps, name that game. Raymond Origins? What is it? Raymond Origins? If he's wrong, can I say wrong? <laughs> he is wrong, but he's close. He's close. You said Raymond or Ray Raymond Origins, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's not the game. <laughs> you were close though. Name of all games. Name that game. Oh hell, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Alice Rising in Wonderland. Psychonauts. Yeah. Is it? I don't know, but I've beaten it. Wrong. All right, one more time, and then you're gonna get the reveal. Rising Corpse. Name that game. You know it's Rayman, but which one? Pick a number. I don't know. <laughs> I'll say two. I'll say two. Rayman Legends. It's two. Rayman Legends for the win. There's a two in there somewhere. <laughs> Rayman Legends is correct. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> King of all games. Alright. This is bullshit. He left out adjectives and adverbs in all of his answers. <laughs> I it demand a recount. In the realm of all games. Me and my itchy beard. Let me do my one good trick besides making my face turn like I just did. Watch this. I can drink through my beard. <laughs> For that alone, I should get the job. Well, good job. Well, better luck next time, King of All Games. And that was name that game. Special thanks to Quicksilver for helping get all those logos, all those images for us. And thank you, King of All Games, for stopping by and competing in our game. Yes, thank you for having me. I'm I'm sure I'll be back again sometime soon. You will be back. And we will I'm going to beat some more games. All right, uh, let us know how... With adjectives and adverbs. <laughs> that was king of all games, everybody. So, Rising Corpse, congratulations. You won our uh, game, so you get to be our newest Facebook admin. So, congratulations oh, to that. Um, he will be... Rising Corpse will be uh, posting stuff over there. And, uh, you'll know it's him because he will be signing it, Rising Corpse. So, you know... good. You know that. Congratulations to him. We appreciate him actually being part of the lagging out uh, militia, as we like to call us. And it looks like uh, funny guys get coming back. Uh, hopefully, he will be able to put his name tag back on. And uh, I don't know how many we have. <coughs> how many more? Hey, what's have? happening? My, Thanks I'm for the break. I'm lose my voice. Yeah. I don't know where it is. So. <laughs> So if you want to do... What's uh, up with that king of all games? It is like... He's arrogant. Yeah. He, I, I think he can't stand losing because it wasn't technically a video game. I think that's why he didn't win. I have to ask him next time he's on. So did you So did you win? Yeah. All right, awesome. Sweet. Welcome he to the team. He won nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he won work. Act, yes. act. 
<laughs> finding interesting stuff for us so we have a show. I guess. Uh, well, you know, we were talking about this last week. I have been lucky enough to get my hands on a copy and play it for a little bit. There's, uh, you know, continuing our discussion, I guess you could say, on violence and video games. Um, I actually had a chance to pick up the new Grand Theft Auto. And uh, I don't know, have you ever played any of the Grand Theft Auto games in the past? Either of you guys? Yeah, I beat the last one. Which was um, the one set in New York, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Chieftain, what about you? Um, I didn't get to play any of them. I didn't. I I've, I've watched people play them um, when I was in grad school, but I didn't play them myself. So. Okay. Because I've got my hands on. I got to tell you, this is not a game for kids. Yeah, I mean, I understand. Even in the story there's... mode, just the language alone. I'm not. I'm not down on it. I think it's a great as a as a reviewer or a critique, I guess, a critique or a, a, what would you call it, a reviewer of games. I think it's an absolutely beautiful game. I think it's stunning. I think the storyline is absolutely great. Uh, the way it allows you to play three different characters from three different perspectives. They've built this whole world that's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the storylines embody the best... Uh, and most satirical, I think, aspects of shows like Sons of Anarchy, uh, Breaking Bad, all these popular TV shows, The Sopranos, uh, Smokey and the Bandit. I mean, there's all kinds of homage to great Hollywood stuff throughout this game, but it is straight up for adults. Um, you know, I, I've, what I've played of it, I've very much enjoyed. Um, in fact, when I have to stop playing, you know, to go to bed or whatever, uh, it's almost like turning a good movie off in the middle. It's like taking The Godfather and turning it off right, right. in the middle. Yeah. Well, that's what they want. They want they want, <laughs> they want. want you to be engulfed in the whole game. Um, did you actually play the multiplayer mode? No, I've not looked at any of the multiplayer. I was reading so much bad stuff about it. Uh, I just haven't even bothered to take a look at it yet. Well, yeah, you know, so um, I can't really voice as usual uh, Moab. You remember Moab, right? Yeah. He's like... Oh, let me come on the show and talk about this. He was saying that he had a level 40 character. I don't know what that means, but and he lost he lost that entire character and it crashed on him, and so he had to build the character back. It's, I guess that's equivalent to like getting to a level 55 on your first prestige on Call of Duty. Right. He lost the entire he lost the entire thing. He was a crap about it. Well, one of the things I read on Kotaku was that uh, they're going to give anybody who had a character, I guess. And lost it. They're gonna give them five five hundred thousand dollars in game money to spend. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> stuff, which is great. But I, I was reading some of the reviews, and one guy brought up an interesting point. I don't know if you were Rising Corpse feel this way, but you know, one of the things he said is like, you know, part of the thrill of it for me is doing the missions and earning it. Yeah. You know, so I don't know. I haven't looked at the multiplayer yet. I've still been engulfed in the in the whole story. So. And it's very entertaining. It's, uh, you know, for adult, mature humor, um, it's definitely entertaining. Yeah, I've always liked the GTAs. They've always been fun games to play. Now, do you just do the story mode, or do you try to do all the side missions and all that other stuff? I try to do it all. Yeah. I don't have the patience for all of that, but uh, <laughs> I usually do a fair amount of stuff. Red Dead Redemption, I did a lot. I did a lot in that. Which was their last, I guess, if you use GTA on horseback, as I like to call it. <laughs> so, and I, this is uh, holding up to uh, holding up to my expectations. At least the single player is. Uh, I have not looked at the multiplayer, but I don't really get that game for multiplayer. So, do you, do you if, will you play multiplayer on it if you get the game, or? I might try it just once, see how it is. Yeah. For me, it's all about the story with that game. It's all about yeah. the humor and the satire. So, uh, do I think it's an overly violent game? Oh, absolutely. Do I think it's a game that should be played by anybody under the age of probably 14 or younger? I dare I say even 15 might be. This 15 or 16 might be a little young. This is an 18 and over game, man. Um, so, you know, when I hear these stories, people that... What's that? I saw some screen grabs of uh, text messages from uh, on on the video game. 
Like, so they're like, they're, you're in the video game, and there's text messages. Thank you for the good time. And there's like a like a risque picture of a, a chick in a like bikini, like showing her ass. Like there's oh, there's a, a strip like, club you can go to where the had. women. There's a strip I mean, club you can go to, and the girls are topless. Right, right. So I think. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, it's. I can't believe I, I was one day when I, when I was a kid I was playing Atari 2600 that it's gone from little squares on a screen to you know basically lap dances and strip bars. I mean it's amazing <laughs> what they put into the game. Yeah. What they can. To me it's I'm more fascinated by the fact that the, they can put that much into a game. It's I mean they've built uh, entirely Los Angeles. I was in a mission where I was being chased and it said that I had to ditch the police at the beach and I happened to live in LA so it's pretty accurate man I knew where to turn and boom I was at the beach you know it was <laughs> it's pretty wild so how definitely far, uh, how if far you're, you win that game uh, I might be 25 percent finished with the story mode maybe 30 oh, okay. Um, doing some of the side missions, uh, putting in a, you know, maybe an hour or so a night, um, just trying to get, you know, playing, you know, one mission for each character or something like that, and then a couple side missions. Um, you can buy property. It's a pretty deep game. It's, uh, I'm very impressed with it. So, thumbs up to Rockstar on the single player for GTA V. Uh, but um, multiplayer, well, the jury's still out on that, I think, with most of the community and uh, even me, just because I've been, like I said, playing the single player. So, Well, I don't know. Uh, congratulations to uh, Rising Corpse here, uh, our new intern. He'll be uh, helping us out with the Facebook and the Twitter and all that good stuff. Uh, folks, you have been watching, uh, as we come to the end of the night here, Lagging Out. You can check us out at laggingout.com. Watch all our past episodes, see how we've grown from a ragtag show to some sort of structure. Uh, we are sponsored by TheGamerGloves.com. Enter your coupon code LAGGINGOUT uh, on your next purchase and save, uh, I think, is it uh, 15% on your next, is it 10% or 15%? 15% 15. 15 on your next pair of Gamer Gloves. Uh, got questions for us? Want to be on the show? Um, <coughs> email us at laggingout at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. That's uh, facebook.com slash laggingout. YouTube.com uh, slash laggingout. Subscribe to our YouTube page. And uh, don't forget, you can also find us on Twitch as well. Uh, special shout-out to the Tattooed Barbies. Uh, we do sponsor them. They are at facebook.com slash tattooed barbies. Hot gamer chicks with tattoos. And good players, too, I might add. Uh, check out, uh, you know, uh, like their page, get in touch with them. Maybe you can show up on a Thunder Thursday, play with the Lagging Out crew and the Tattooed Barbies. Also, one of our other sponsors, new here to the uh, team, uh, <clears throat> Cursed Underground Gaming. That's Cursed Underground Gaming, uh, CUGlive.com. Want to play with a hardcore group of gamers, folks? One of the hardest core uh, clans around. Official sponsors of LaggingOut.com. Facebook page for them, too. Oh, and the Facebook page, I'm sorry, it's facebook.com slash cursed underground gaming. Be sure to check us out. Uh, if you'd like to donate to us, you can go to your PayPal and uh, just uh, donate to laying out at gmail.com. All proceeds go towards prizes for contests and equipment uh, for production of the show. Uh, we do need new microphones. We could definitely stand all upgrades on computers. Uh, stuff like that. Um, what's so funny about me? Well, uh, you know, I've been around the funny business uh, for well over 20 years. You can check me out at funnyguy.com. Uh, I've also been playing games since most people probably watching this show were born. One day I went to bed, there wasn't Space Invaders, and then there was. You can follow me on Twitter at funnyguy, Instagram at funnyguy, and subscribe to my YouTube page, youtube.com slash funnyguy. And I uh, got a beef with the chieftain. Did you catch a camper? Well, you can send your link and YouTube clip to chieftain, that's C-H-I-F-T-A-I-N-X-I, -I -I, at gmail.com. Don't forget to go like his fan page 
uh, as well on Facebook.com slash ChieftainXI, and you can also follow him on uh, at Twitter at ChieftainXI. And that brings us to another close. Now, when we do a special close, if, I don't know if Lies and Clubs have actually watched any of the other shows. Yeah, have you watched any of the shows? Hey, I'm, I'm kind of curious. He's got the job, but uh, have you watched any of the shows? <laughs> no, I haven't. No? No, no. I actually haven't. That's all right. Well, they're not much different than what you've experienced this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I didn't like it from the beginning. I don't like it either. <laughs> we got to think of a better way to sign off. Right. So, I mean... Any ideas there? Seeing as I you didn't like the only one that was brought to the table. I know it was brought to the table by me, but the only one who came up with anything, thanks. Right, I couldn't think of anything. You're the entertainment guy. You're the, guy, you're the head writer on the show. Yeah, this is going to get me worked by leaps and bounds. Um... You're the yeah. only writer on the show. See, this is what happens. Don't watch when you, it with your mom. We'll see you in two weeks. Goodbye, everybody. Every Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. We broadcast <laughs> live. And the repost goes up the following Wednesday. See you later, folks.